save the person you love and sacrifice your humanity. Save humanity, sacrifice the person that, that you love. Now, I wish I played, I played the game because that would have been a pretty crazy ending. The last of us, man. I think this it's a good that we can wrap this up as a whole, as a whole season. You know, because I felt that before I did this review, I wanted to talk to my amigo who actually lent me the game, but obviously I didn't finish it because I was busy. So it was good just to talk to him who he's played the game, giving my thoughts, giving his thoughts from the perspective of him playing the game. And let's just break things down. So, so let's just, I want to talk about the episode itself and then the whole season. The first thing that struck me about the final episode I was like, okay, that's it. It's definitely finale. It's good to at least be an hour. Maybe an hour 15 or something. Because remember, the first episode was now. This has been an hour. Then when I saw that the last episode was 45 minutes, I was like, okay, surely is that enough for the finale? Because normally, finales of a season, they're normally like the longest episode. So that was that already struck me that it was only 45 minutes. And then when you, the episode itself, I get, so this is going to spoil us. Well, I'm going to spot the whole thing. I get what they were trying to do. And when you see what they're trying to do, it's like, oh, wow. But it didn't hit me the way they wanted it to hit me. Almost at the same time as I don't even know how they wanted me to, to feel. Because what makes that ending so crazy is Joel is pretty messed up. What he's doing, he's doing a messed up thing. You know, because I mean... Well, you can look at it in, in both ways. Because, you know what, it's sort of like, you know, if you watch The Matrix Reloaded, it's like that kind of choice. I don't know what they call it. So this choice is, like, okay, do you sacrifice the one person you love to save humanity? Um, or do you sacrifice humanity to save the person that you that you love? You know, so for Joel, it's like, okay, um, this is somebody who can help replace, like, my daughter. And so I have, I have grown a connection with and it's like a replacement for my daughter. But at the same, so I don't want her to be sacrificed. But at the same time, that's like a selfish thing because it's like, okay, she's one life, but this is the one life that can save the whole of humanity. It's all like, what's it called? Utilitarianism argument. You know, but if you're in, in Joel's point of view, you're like, is he doing it because you generally have love for Ellie and so forth? Or are you just doing, doing it out of selfish reasons because you just want her to be a replacement of your daughter? So it's, it's the exact thing. But still, what it is was still pretty messed up. It's like, these are a bunch of guys who are trying to find the cure to, to save humanity. And you pretty much killed everyone. But the way they presented it, the way they presented it in this was, are we supposed to feel for Joel? Because it's sort of like a director's choice where even the music they played didn't really make any sense. And I think this is where we don't have to connect with the entire season. When I saw Joel clapping and lubricating all of those fireflies, I was like, I don't buy this. This is too much of a character switch. And the kind of character that you've presented to your boy throughout the season, this was too much of a switch. And that is why I had to speak to people who've played the game. So my friend who's played the game was like, Joel throughout the game is brutal. He's violent. And you can just see the, the, the brutality of how he's, and he's a very bitter guy. And so when he does that, it actually makes sense. The dots connect. This is too much of a departure because pretty much the guy that I've been seeing seems like a teddy bear. Seems like a pretty cool, nice, lovable guy. Looks like a like a like, like nice, affable guy. So I don't know whether that was some of the reasons why they even wanted to bring in Pedro Pascal because he's like a likable guy and he'll not be too much of a hard edge. Because I said to my friend that look, he's so old now, but a perfect pe someone that'd be perfect for this would be old to Corosso. Like Corosso back. In like the 90s, like the early 90s Corosso or late 80s Corosso. Because go watch a film called Soldier starring Corosso. Corosso would be perfect for this. He would be absolutely perfect. Just he's too old now, but he would be perfect for this role. Um, so, because Benny Pascal, he's a quality actor. I'm just not sure whether he was the right person for what they were trying to do from how Joel is. Because guys, you've played the game and so forth. Did Pedro Pascal play Joel in the right way? And I know, and here's the thing. When you're adapting, you're going to take um, liberties, you know, like the, 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 the 
exercise of adaptation is a creative exercise. Like, what's it called? Um, Peter Jackson didn't completely, word for word, panel for panel, copy everything from The Lord of the Rings. He took some of the stuff, but, you know, he twisted it up. When Tim Burton made Batman, he was like, yeah, I'm going to take some elements, but <laughs> I'm not putting a guy in a gray suit. So part of my creative adaptation and liberty is I'm going to make him all in black, you know. So maybe the difference here was, okay, we wanted just to maybe make Joe less harsh, but I feel by making him less harsh, it's 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 the, the, the dots don't connect. So when I was looking at the ending, I was like, I don't buy him doing all those things with the fireflies. I don't buy him him just killing these guys in that brutal way. I don't buy him shooting the, the doctor in cold blood. I just don't... I did not buy that because the character that he put forth, I just don't buy that he would do that. And so forth. Because cause even if... Because you don't have to say, um, um, show, don't tell. It's like, we didn't... So you're just telling us he's a, he's a bad guy and so forth. Okay, that's all cool. But... I didn't see enough from Pedro Pascal, the actor, and so forth that, man, this guy could really snap. And when he snaps, he's going to say, what's up? You know, when this guy snaps, he's really going to say, what's up? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get that from your boy. Like, I didn't get that from your boy. So, I mean, look, it's... If I was to review the season as a whole, it's very well made, very well acted. I think, For me, I feel... The real shine in this is Bella Ramsey. I, because for me, I thought that they were both good, great chemistry. But I feel from episode one to the last episode, I thought Bella Ramsey was outstanding. Like her acting was absolutely outstanding. You know, she's got a she's got a very thick regional kind of um, English accent, and how she nailed the American accent was amazing. And just her general acting from her emotions, body language, physicality, emotionality, I thought she was outstanding. But Pascal was good. I just felt that he was. Two things. Either he was given wrong direction or he was badly cast. Because it is clear, because specifically given the last episode, it is clear, it is obvious that this guy needed to be a lot more brutal. And he needed to be a lot more hard edged. Because by making him a lot more brutal and hard edged and us seeing he's more brutal and hard edged, that ending makes sense. So when you see that ending, you're like, yeah, it's something he would do. You know, it's something he would do. So it just seemed to just, it just seemed to come out of left field the way that he was able just the way that he was just lubricating those guys and so forth. So um yeah, let's see. I mean I mean let's let's see what happens. But look, as I said, you know, it's a it's a it's I mean, I'm like wow, like now I wish I played I played the game because that would have been a pretty crazy ending because uh, because I thought the ending was something different. So obviously that was wrong, but like, cause I had like a few things, but I didn't know it was going to end like that. So that's a pretty crazy ending, man, because it's like, you understand what he did, whether for selfish reasons or whatsoever. And he did save Ellie's life. And again, it goes back to that choice. Save the person you love and sacrifice your humanity. Save humanity, sacrifice the person that, that you love. But some people will be like, wait, who gives about humanity? I, I can vouch for this person that I love and so forth. So I'm going to vouch for them and then we can find an alternative cure rather than saving humanity. What do I owe humanity? I owe this person that I love. I can't vouch for humanity. So it's that kind of crazy matrix reloaded kind of choice that, you know, you are put forth. man. But yeah, tell me guys what you think. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Tell me guys your thoughts in the comments below. Peace.